Hello, it's me, Corona AB, and as I said in my previous video, let's solve the inertia problem. So, the inertia problem is a problem in which basically your game feels really unresponsive because you have this inertia effect every time it moves. See that? Ah, so annoying. And it is really annoying. <laughs> it doesn't make, ah, it makes you want to press the button harder, mash your keyboard, just break the whole shit out. Ah, so, the reason you have this problem is because of the two lines of code. I'm going to show you right now. Right? Now, there are two lines of code. This is a uh, typical, what do you call that, uh, movement script, right? I have made it fairly simple. Just speed, the reference to your rigid body. I just put it to public so that I could just uh, with the player, main uh, playground, yes, so that I could just drag and drop it here. That's why I have it in public, so that there won't be any other distractions to show you. So now, what is the problem you have is these two codes. You just have to replace these codes with simple other codes that will make that will not have inertia effect. The reason you have inertia effect is this code gives a smooth out value of the x-axis and y-axis every time you press the left or right button. Right? Oh wait, yes. Right, and this pushes the object, this object, every time you press the button, it will push the object to a specific direction when you press the button. So when you push up, push something with force, some inertia is applied. So we have to remove these codes and use something else. So first of all, use, instead of get axis, use get axis raw. Done, the first problem is solved. And instead of these code, right, you can use rb.velocity is equal to, and inside of this bracket after this add force, copy all this, Right, whatever you have, copy this and paste it here. Put a semicolon and let's just comment this out. And yeah, it's done. But if you're messing with velocity, then you should not have an update function. You should always have a fixed update function. Fixed update. Now, if you save that, uh, sorry for this. Now, if you save this, Go to Unity, take some time to load now, as you can see before it was really laggy, felt really unresponsive and now when you play the game it is really responsive. So that is it, thank you for watching, I guess tomorrow I'll make a video of about, what do you call that, animation problem maybe, or I won't, I don't know. So. This is how you solve the inertia problem. Like, if you like it, dislike, if you didn't like it, please support the channel by subscribing. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.